Morning guys, Dow's record high yet again. So let's see how we do. What's up guys? Uh, welcome back. It is um, Tuesday. Netflix was up $3 pre-market and now look. Now they're starting to go down. And so I'm wondering what's going on. Kind of interesting. Gonna have to see, see what's going on with that. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting because it was up literally right after the, the earnings yesterday. And now it is starting to fall down. That's kind of weird. Carlos was saying that tech and materials or something was the, were the biggest gainers this month. Kramer saying let them pull back. The, people think they're real expensive. Um, yeah, so maybe people are taking profits. Not sure. So I guess we'll have to maybe sell some stuff and see what happens. Damn, that's the company I wanted to get into. Someone mentioned, one of the subscribers mentioned this one a long time ago and I foolishly forgot about it. Look at that, that's huge. Jeez. Here's a company I'm glad that we've been in pretty much the entire year. Square. I don't think we've not been in them for a long time, so that is awesome. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, we're back. Um, it is... I already said today. Today is Tuesday. I already said that earlier in the video, but let's uh, see how we did today, and we'll talk about um, Netflix, we'll talk about Tesla, and we'll talk about uh, Volvo, and yeah, we'll, then we'll just wrap it up. Okay, so <clears throat> we did pretty well today. We made some more money, so really grateful for that. We had some good, good days recently, haven't had any... Bad days, think knock on wood. Our streak's doing pretty well. But check this out. Tesla, number one, two, and three spot. So yesterday they hurt us, but today they definitely helped us. So that was awesome. And then check out Foot Locker, the put option. Even though Foot Locker ended up up for the day, our put option went up a lot. So that was kind of interesting. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of expecting this to go back down tomorrow, but just because, yeah, that was kind of weird. But... Then we got Home Depot, Universal Display, some small gains here. Check out all the Universal Displays, though. All of them finished up today, which was very helpful. Okay, and then we got a bunch of them that didn't do anything. Then we got a bunch of people that did not great, but not, like, horrible. Alibaba went down a lot. Sprint went down. And then, what is this? Blackberry. Wait. Oh, that's. I think that's what happened, guys. Remember when I said it was showing, like, zero? For a second, check this out. It, this used to just be BBRY for BlackBerry. Now it's just BB. So I'm guessing they had their symbol changed. So let's check the watch list to see what happened and see if we can find it. Actually, you know what? The easiest thing to do would be to just sort it alphabetically. Yeah, look at that. It looks like they just switched their symbol. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That is, I've never seen that happen. That is so interesting. Okay, so I guess they're in, under a new symbol now, and that must have messed up with our balances the other day. That's interesting. I've never seen that happen before. But there you go. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, okay, here's another thing that was weird. Check out Groupon, our top performer of today. Groupon on our watch list, right? And then look at our Groupon calls. We actually went down today. So that was very interesting. I thought for that big of a gain, then our calls would have definitely gone up, but it didn't. And so that was kind of strange. I know I know implied volatility can usually cause options and stocks to go in opposite directions, but when something usually goes on a stock, from my experience, which is you know 10 months, <laughs> so not a whole lot, but when a stock goes up that much in a day, usually your options will go up too. So I thought that was kind of interesting that it didn't. And we're only $2.05 away from our strike, 
and we have until January 2019. And I think if Groupon continues to do well um, and they keep marketing, they really do need to market because it's a brand issue right now with them. Uh, they need, I think they can hit this strike and we can see like this go up by another 100% easily. So we're crossing our fingers with that. But anyways, let's go back to the watch list so this video doesn't drag too long. We got Hemp Americana, GoPro, Tesla, very good day for Tesla today. Um, Universal Display, Facebook. So a lot of stamps that we got, <laughs> a lot of stocks that we, I, I saw this as I said that. Stamps.com. A lot of stocks that we have options for did well today, so I'm just going to zip through these and then we'll wrap it up. Here's the guys that lost. Netflix sadly went down, but they're still hovering around the $200 mark, so not bad. Uh, Alibaba, Nintendo, and there you go. Alright, so with Netflix, um, here's my take on it. I think it was just um, people taking profits because they beat expectations Subscriber additions is really what drives Netflix stock, and so when they beat expectations internationally and domestically, that usually causes the stock price to go up. And three months ago, we saw their stock go up like 9 10% the day after they beat their earnings. In this quarter, I think I think it's because their stock is just so high, it's record high, it's so expensive, um, people are just a little weary of it. And so I think people have started taking profits, but I don't think anything fundamentally is wrong with Netflix. Um, so I expect their stock to go back up. And uh, so, yeah, we have a $220 strike and we have till January 2019. So I think I think we have enough time for them to go up 20 more dollars. Uh, I think we'll be fine with that. With Tesla, um, I didn't read a whole lot with them, but Volvo did announce uh, a new electric vehicle under their their other subsidiary company, um, Polestar, P-O-L-E-S-T-A-R, which is kind of interesting. I'll put a screenshot of the car that they unveiled. It's pretty nice looking. It's not like jaw dropping, I don't think, by any means, but um, but I think it's a hybrid. And it, I read that it only goes 95 miles on pure electric battery alone, which is not really anything to compete with Tesla. So I'm really not concerned right now. And by the time 2020 comes along, when they want to start actually pushing out electric vehicles, Tesla is going to just be so much farther ahead of the game uh, that I don't really think Tesla has anything to worry about. I just think they need to focus on the Model 3. If they can get the Model 3 out there, I think I think they'll be okay. Um, what else? What else? I can't really think of anything else. I know I'm probably forgetting something, so if I remember, I'll talk about it tomorrow. But uh, we're just going to leave it at that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And share with your friends if you want to show them the day-to-day -day swings of options. I know trading options the way I'm trading options is very risky, so definitely don't do this if you, you know, if you can't afford to lose any money. Like I have my own personal reasons uh, for, for trading the way I'm trading, and I can make another video about that in the future. But uh, it's very high risk what I'm doing. It's very high risk uh, in a bull market. It seems you know like a like a good strategy because you make a lot of money, but in a bear market, this strategy could hurt you a lot um, unless you're really good at finding put options to buy. But again, I don't have a lot of experience with options. This is my first year, so please keep that in mind. Uh, it's my first year trading options. I'm having success. The market's doing well. Uh, but you know, I'm picking good companies, I think, based on my research and my gut feeling and my speculation. So when you pick your companies, you know, do your research, go with your gut, um, and, and you know, talk to people, get other opinions, and that's the best way to learn and to do well. So with that said, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment in the comment section below if you have any questions. And yeah, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you tomorrow.